Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. It gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds great. They'll even distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard everywhere. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. You can easily make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. All right, welcome back. You're probably like, what is going on? But the reality is we have breaking news. I don't go live often. I hardly go live at all. Everything's been pre-recorded because you can catch it on the YouTube page at what? CV Space K, where all great content are heard. But the Lakers have just did an amazing trade, and I had to cover this for the next 10 to 15 minutes. So I asked Pastor Nate Williams to jump on because I want to talk about the GOAT journey, LeBron oh, GOAT journey. And before we go any further, I found a video that explains how the GOAT journey is going. So with the trade from Russell Westbrook, we got rid of Kuzma, we got rid of Trez, we got rid of KCP, and we got a winner. Well, I mean, they're all winners, but we got a bona fide MVP all the time. So I just want to play it for LeBron himself, just so you can see it. Uh, tell us about that. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. That's it. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. We're going to get all. He got three, right? What how many he got? He has four. He has four. Oh, okay. Was... Yeah, we're through we're three away from being officially Hold crowned. Up. All right. <laughs> So with that being said, are you happy? Are you happy as a Lakers fan? You got Russell Westbrook. Hey, I'm happy. I'm I'm really really happy, and I'm not really a, a Westbrook guy, but I, I the trade was just amazing because the guys that we got rid of, they were you know they were useless. So I'm 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 happy as a Lakers fan. All right, I'm about to do some. I'm about to speak uh, prophetic in this place. I'm okay. claiming that the Lakers are gonna win seventy four games total if they play 82 game season they're gonna go 74 and eight okay number five for lebron lebron will get his fifth mvp will get his fifth finals mvp okay. and the legacy will be officially submitted because we've already beat mj for greatest space jam film what are your thoughts on that well number one um you know, when you came to my church, you you was wearing a T-shirt. So I don't think the prophet prophetic was on you on that day. And, uh, you know, and as far as 74 wins, LeBron only going to play 54 games. So that's why it's good that he has Westbrook. It's because we have so we have a workhorse that's going to make sure that we have a three to four to two seed to make sure that we ain't in no trouble and playing in no you know, eighth place games, and we're going to be all right. Regardless, uh, we have another uh, Reverend hailing from, I believe, Joliet, Elder Maurice. He is yeah. joining us <laughs> live on location. Yeah. Reese, <laughs> what up, boy? Right. <laughs> Hail from Joliet. Hail from Joliet. I'm going to let you, I'm going to accept that. <laughs> Marie, so we got Russ. He came to the kingdom. I just told I just told Name and I said the Lakers are going to win seventy four games. LeBron's going to get his fifth ring. They're going to they're going to beat teams by an average of fifteen points. They're going to be number one in defense, and this will be the greatest. And I do mean the greatest season that you've ever seen from LeBron. It's all as we know. They would have won it this year except for injury. So if they stay healthy, this is going to be an extra buffer because now if AD and LeBron need to chill and West, Westbrook good, he can win some of them little games they lost. We're going to have media marketing team. That's true. I mean, they can pick up somebody else like KCP. They can, they can pick – because it's like 50 other dudes like him in the league they can pick up. Kuzma, I mean – Music. Four hours. <laughs> that's, that's, that's another pickup. 
And a draft sure. pick, whoever they pick tonight, I mean, it's whatever. But I think that's a great trade. It's worth it's worth the ride. It is. And all we got to do now, we just got to get rid of Mark Gasol, trade Mark back with Dwight Howard, uh, just a, a, a sign-in trade, or we can swap. I think the contracts are pretty even. Give us Dwight back. I think the Lakers are primed to make a run at it. I'm, I'm Matter of fact, this should be recorded. Instead of the last dance, it should be the final tango or the final dance because LeBron has proven in every single category that he's greater than Jordan. I want to comment on this. His Space Jam film was better than the original Space Jam film. I watched it a couple weeks ago, and the original Space Jam film was terrible, and they only allowed Mike to have five words at a time. I mean, I'm looking at having. A I mean, who, what you trying to do, man? <laughs> I'm just trying to establish before you we get off. You you thought LeBron? So LeBron had better graphics. That's what you was looking for because it's <laughs> it's 30 years later. Come on, man. He had better CGI, but he had better acting. You gotta admit, for an athlete, that was almost Oscar worthy. Honestly, if the Lakers win the championship, it will be because of Russell Westbrook and Anthony Davis have taken the reins of the team. LeBron is not a top four player in the league anymore. He's kind of lost a step, but he's still that dude. And I know it's going to hurt you. You know, um, uh, Maurice and I had to go through that with Kobe, and it's just a season that you gotta you gotta deal with it. I'm just excited that we got a workhorse. That's all. That's true. I'm excited. Well, look, my final question to both y'all, because I know Elder Marie's got to go and name it. I see you getting tired over there. That's what happens when you get over 40 and y'all have joined into the, uh, you know, the, the kind of Just For Men Club. Uh, well, uh, apparent, apparently, Just For Men, I haven't bought any. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. That's, that's all. And, and, Cody, could you please tell the audience that we played in a game and I gave your team 28 points? Would you mind telling them that? He did, but we still won. We still no, won. Didn't. Again. You didn't win that. You didn't win that game. Two eight. I, I could have sworn we won that game. You did no, drop Chris, us. Chris is, Chris is on here. Y'all didn't win that game. <laughs> Chris Taylor, he was our workhorse in that because I was coaching, and you know, Coach Cody don't lose when I'm when I'm in. <laughs> I don't coach it. So, final question for the audience: When it's all said and done, and you're gonna have to look back and take a full summary of LeBron's career. After everything, and you know he's got at least one more in him. Is he the bona fide GOAT? You know, man, he can win five or six months. I think the thing that'll make me even think about it is if he breaks Kareem's scoring record. That's the only thing. And he's only he's less than 3,000 points away, which means he can get it done in less than three years, with, in two seasons, really. The next two seasons, he only got an average like 21 a game, 22 yep. games, with an average of 70 games. Yep. If he do that, I think about it. But uh, I don't, uh, other than that, there's nothing he can do. You heard him first. He just got to break Kareem's, get to number five, and it's a done. This has been a special short. No, it's not. <laughs> It ain't done. <laughs> Special story. He said it. You heard the preacher say it. He said, all we got to do is break Kareem's record. This has been a special short presentation of it is what it is. You want to keep me an amazing content like this. Subscribe to your boy on YouTube at CV Space K. Hit me up on Instagram at CVMK33. And until next time, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much.